Thanks for tuning in to watch this video. I count it a privilege and a blessing for me to be able to share with you the Word of God. Today I want to talk about Thomas who overcame doubt. Talking about doubt, no one is immune to doubt. It can happen to all of us. So I want to share how we can handle and overcome doubts. And let us see how Thomas overcame his doubts about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thomas was a passionate follower of Jesus Christ. In John 11, the disciples were questioning Jesus' decision to go back to Judea. The disciples said, Rabbi, the Jews were now seeking to stone you. And are you going there again? That's when Thomas spoke up, telling the other disciples, Let us also go that we may die with him. It is a statement of Thomas considered both passionate and loyal. So by looking at these verses, we can conclude that Thomas was a passionate disciple of Jesus Christ. But after his master was crucified and buried, he was really discouraged and his faith was shaken. Jesus told his disciples, including Thomas, again and again that he would die for the sins of the world. He would be crucified. And that Jesus promised them that he would rise from the dead on the third day. In Luke 9.22, Jesus said, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And as he prophesied, Jesus defeated death and rose from the dead as he prophesied and appeared to Mary Magdalene and also to his disciples. For some reason, Thomas was not among the other disciples when the resurrected Jesus first appeared to them, showing them his pierced hands and side and imparting the Holy Spirit on them with his breath. And the disciples happily told Thomas that Jesus had risen, but Thomas doubted what they were saying. Later, Jesus also appeared to Thomas and said, do not disbelieve, but believe upon seeing the reason Jesus. Thomas answered Jesus, My Lord 
and my God. Hallelujah. Thomas overcame his doubts when he encountered the risen Jesus and heard him speak. His spiritual eyes were open to see the revelation of the holy scriptures of God. He realized the Lordship of Jesus Christ. He proclaimed, my Lord and my God. Hallelujah. Before Jesus was crucified, he told his disciples that he did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Though Jesus was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God, a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of his servant, being born in the likeness of man. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. When we study the life of Jesus Christ, we can see his humility. We can see the works he did glorify the Father God. When the right time had come, Jesus at his trial before the Sanhedrin publicly revealed himself to be the Son of Man from Daniel 7 and the one sitting on the throne of God from Psalm 110 verse 1. Jesus is Lord who deserves all the glory, all the honor. Hallelujah. God has highly exalted Jesus and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. My friend, you may be having doubts in your mind, but I want to reassure you, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and he will help you overcome your doubts. I want to also encourage you to read the Bible, the written word of God, again and again, to see the truth that will help you overcome your doubts that have been sown in your mind by the enemy. Read the Bible, the written word of God more. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my works will never pass away. Therefore, let us build our lives on the unshakable foundation of the Word of God. Amen. Spend more time in the Word of God and your spiritual eyes will be open and you will overcome your doubts from the enemy. The Word of God promises us that you will find the Lord if you seek Him with all your heart and with all your soul. I pray that your faith will become stronger in this season. So finally, I want to say, let us spend more time in the Word of God and overcome doubts, which is the destructive weapon of the enemy. May God give you a clear mind to understand the scriptures deeper. Amen.